My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Glamma here. Welcome back to Kids Corner at Glamma's. Today, we're going to have lesson two of finger crocheting. Yay! So today, we are going to learn how to make the slip stitch, okay? So the slip stitch is the shortest stitch that we have in crochet, and it's also the tightest stitch. So it might be a little challenging, but I promise you lesson three and four are not going to be as difficult as this one. I'm starting with this one because I want to start off with the shortest and then go to the next biggest one and then the next biggest one okay so we're going to start with this today and this is what a slip stitch looks like so you could make something that looks like this by the end of this video awesome right this would make a really really cushy scarf don't you think you could make it for your mom your dad yourself your friend or whoever so isn't this just awesome so this is what you're going to be making today alrighty guys let's get started okay so to get started we're going to leave a little bit of a tail so that later on at the end we can weave that tail in and i will be showing you how to weave tails in this time too okay all right let's get started so we're going to start with the slip knot just like we did with lesson one when we made our chain okay just like that and then tighten it a little bit leave enough room for your two fingers to go in and now drop the tail and let's make a chain of for this video let's make a chain of 11 because we want our project to be 10 chains long but then you have to make an extra one the 11th one for the height of the stitch that we're going to be making so that we can go across this way and then we're going to chain one and we're going to go back this way and we're going to repeat that over and over so let's make 11 chains there's two there's three there's four and meet me back here when you've got your 11 stitches, okay? Alrighty. So I have my 11 chains and I'm going to put my two fingers in here. So now that we have 11 chains, we're gonna be working this way, okay? All right, so there's the 11th chain right there. We're going to ignore it because that's going to be what makes our the height of our row, okay? That's how tall our stitch is going to be. So what I want you to do is I want you to notice that there's this strand here and that strand. And what I want you to do is I want you to put your finger into the top part of it and grab the yarn that's coming from your ball of yarn and pull that through, okay? Yeah, and don't just tug on the whole loop. Tug on the string that's coming from the yarn ball, okay? Because if you tug on just the loop altogether, it's going to make your slip stitch too tight, and then you won't be able to get your fingers in there for the next row, okay? So let's put our two fingers in there, and there's one strand there, and one strand under here, and one strand in the middle. We're gonna go through the one that's on the top, and we're going to put our fingers in there. We're gonna grab that yarn and pull it through and hold on to this and only pull, don't pull up on the whole loop because then it'll tighten this stitch up and we don't want that. We wanna only pull on the strand that's coming from the yarn ball, okay? And then when you have it big enough to put your fingers through, go to the next one. See, there's the top, the middle, and the bottom strand go in through the top and you see how I'm holding on to this right here I'm holding on to that grabbing the yarn pulling it through and I'm not letting go of this because if I let go it'll make my stitch too tight pull this pull the strand that's coming from your ball and there you go all right so just keep doing that put your fingers in here go to the top strand reach in grab that yarn 
and hold on right here and just pull that yarn till your fingers can fit through it. Yay! Okay, keep doing that. Hold on. Pull up till your fingers fit through. Yay! Top, middle, and bottom strand. Go in through the top. Hold on to this loop that you have your fingers in. When you go like that, hold on to it with this hand. Put your fingers through and then hold on to the whole stitch right here and pull up. And that's going to be the hardest part of this whole thing is just remembering to hold on to this, okay? Because if you don't, let me show you what happens. I'll show you on the next one. Um, it'll get too tight and then on the next row you won't be able to have room to put your fingers in there. Okay, let's put our fingers in here, grab it, and if I wasn't to hold on to that, see how everything right here tightens up too much? And then when you get ready to put your fingers in there, your fingers won't fit. So we want to hold on to it, okay? And see how little that's, that loop got? We don't want it to get little. We want it to stay big so that our two fingers will fit in there. Okay, let's do that one again. Put your fingers in there, see how I'm holding that? Grab this, now grab onto this part right here and pull, don't pull this part of the strand, pull this part right here, the part that's coming from the ball of yarn. Okay, I know that I'm repeating myself, but I wanna make sure that you um, do this right so it doesn't get too tight for you. You'll see why I don't want it to get too tight when we come back this way, okay? So there's our loop, we don't wanna pull on this side right here. We don't want to pull this. We want to pull this side. See? Yeah, like that. Okay, put your fingers in. Grab the yarn. Hold on to this all right here. Okay, and then pull on that. Yay! And take your time. Okay, take your time. And right here, this is the very first chain that we made. So we're going to go right into there. Pull up. Grab onto the back. See right here where this loop is? Grab right here behind it and hold on until you got the amount of yarn that you need to fit both your fingers in. Okay, so now we're done. So now we're gonna chain one, make one chain, okay? And then we're gonna turn all of this around like this, okay? So that chain one means that's how tall our stitch is gonna be. That's how tall this row is gonna be. See that chain? And you see where the end of that chain is? That's how tall this next row is going to be. Okay, now I want to show you something that might be a little confusing. See, there's that strand, that strand, and that strand. Well, you're going to ignore that. You're going to turn this over. And you see there's the chain one that we made. We're not going to go into that chain right there because you see this loop is already coming from that chain. So this this chain, this stitch is already done. We're going to go into the next one. So don't keep your work like this and go into this. You want to turn your work this way and you want to go into that strand and that strand. We're actually going to pick up both of those strands right there, okay? So reach in, go underneath. See, I'm going to show you from the side where you're going to go in through and you're going to grab both of those, okay? So grab both of those reach in, hold on to this, and pull up. Yay, you did it. So you are on row two now, okay? All right, so don't get confused. See how that looks confusing? If you don't turn your work this way, you gotta look for the next V, okay? And if you, if you uh, can't figure it out, ask your mom or the grown-up that's watching you how to do it, okay? Grab both of those, okay, right there. And you're going to grab that yarn coming from your ball and you're going to hold on to this and you're going to pull up right there. Okay. All right. So there we go. And you see, look at how tall our work is getting already. See how tall it is? See, and this is how short this one is. But look at, because we're on row two, we've got row one, row two. Okay. So now we're going to turn our row, our work back to the top so we can see where the V is. 
If it makes it easier, put your finger through there so that you know where to put your fingers in. Pick up that yarn and then hold on to this loop so it doesn't get too small, okay? And then pull up. Remember, don't pull on this side. Pull on this side that's coming from your ball of yarn, okay? Now that's big enough for my fingers to go in through. And now you're going to go all the way. We're going to do this all the way till we get to the end of the row, okay? So now I'm just going to stop talking and I'm just going to do it and you can watch my hands, okay? Okay, so now we are on the last stitch. So this might look a little confusing to you. So let me show you. Okay, so see if you turn it to the top, there's the V that we want right there. See? Yeah, right there. That's what we want to grab onto right there. So this is what it looks like from all angles. So we want to put our finger in through there. See, I think I might have made that one too tight because my finger almost doesn't fit. Pick up that yarn and pull it through and hold on to this one as we pull it up. There we go. We're done with row two. Now we're going to make one more chain, okay? And we're going to turn our work around like we did before. And remember I said this looks kind of confusing because this looks like a braid. You know these V's? That's what they look like. They look like braids. Okay, but this looks like a braid too, right? See that braid right there? That looks like a braid too. Well, we're going to ignore that because that's the work we just did. That's the stitch that we made, that braid looking thing. So what we want to do is we want to turn our work like this so that we're looking at the top of it. Put our fingers in here. And remember, we're not going to go into that chain because this loop is coming from this chain right there. We want to go into the next one, the next stitch the next V, okay? And we're going to put our fingers in here and we're going to grab the yarn, hold on to this, and remember, only grab onto this side of the loop, pull on that till your fingers fit through there, okay? And there you go. So now turn your work to the top again, look for that V, not this V, this V right there, okay? See how that looks like a V too? We don't want the side V's, we want the top V's. Okay, put your fingers in there, grab the yarn, pull up on it, and that's it. Okay, just keep doing this over and over again. Grab that, grab the whole thing so that your loop doesn't get smaller and that's it. Look at how nice that's looking, you see? So you've got all this beautiful work you're making. So you can do this as practice. You can take it apart, do it again, rewind the video if you want, or you can just keep going. If you've got the hang of it, keep on going. <clears throat> and you can turn this into a pot holder. So if you want it to be a pot holder, maybe do this for like 10 rows or so. Or if you want to make this a scarf, just keep on going as long as you want the scarf to be, okay? All right, so let me finish this row and then I will show you how to end your work when you make yours as long as you want yours to be. All right? So this is called a slip stitch. And in crochet, we use this stitch not just for making projects like this, but we use this stitch for other things too. And I'll teach you all about that later, okay? OK, 
Okay, here's my last stitch of the row. So I wanted to show you what this looks like. See that loop right there? That's the side of our work. And you see the top strands? There's our V. So that's what we want to go into. Don't, don't go into this. Just go into that top V like we've been doing right there. Okay, hold on to it. Let's pretend that this is already as long as we want it to be. So what we would do to end this is we would cut our, our yarn right there. And you see that loop? We would just grab that right there. We would tighten it, snug it down, and you would be done with your project. Let's say this is a really long scarf and this is the end of your scarf. And so that's how you would end your project. And now what you would do is you would just take this tail and you would just weave it in between here. You see these V's up here? Just take that tail and bring it in through here, okay? Just slide that in, pull up on it, there you go. And now you're gonna go to the next V and push it down through there and pull it out the other end. And that's it. That's how you weave in your tails. So now you're gonna push it up. Okay. And now you're gonna push it down through the next one. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So don't tighten it too much. So if you tighten it, see how it gets all tiny right here? Well, you don't wanna tighten it. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's the, that you leave it all nice and stretched out the whole length of the project. And then you wanna take your leftover tail and now you can cut that and that will hide in there, see? And you're gonna do the same thing with the beginning tail. You're going to bring it in through one of these bigger little holes down here, okay? And now you're just going to hide it wherever you can hide it. There's no right or wrong place to hide your tail, okay? So just sneak that in wherever you want Okay, and when you think you've hidden it enough, you can just cut it right there, and there you are. There's your project right there. Okay, so that's how you would that's how you would finish it, and that's how you would weave in your beginning tail and your ending tail. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun teaching it, and I know that this one is a little harder than just making the chain. I hope you guys enjoyed lesson one, making those chains. I would love to see pictures of what you made. Did you make a bracelet? Did you make a necklace? Did you make a belt? And I would love to see pictures of lesson two. I'd love to see what you make. Did you make a little pot holder? Did you make a scarf? I would love to know. So have the adult that's with you um, tell them that you want to show Glamma a picture of what you made, okay? Lesson three is going to be how to make a single crochet, okay? Alrighty. All right, don't forget how much I love you. And don't forget to love yourselves. And don't forget to love everybody that you come in contact with, okay? Alrighty, guys. I love you. Bye. Mwah. Thank you for watching our Glamour's channel.